after traveling to Albany, Western Australia. We made it! We are starting to notice how hard it is to find campsites while traveling Australia in a caravan. Bad news, someone's on the spot. From free campgrounds being pretty much non-existent to paid campgrounds being completely full or to caravan parks charging upwards of $45 a night, we really started to notice a struggle. All of a sudden we had the city of Albany come this morning and they said to us that we've got to move. In July 2022, we decided to move to Cairns, Queensland from Victoria. And as that 12 month rental contract came to an end, we made the decision to sell all of our belongings and start traveling Australia with our two daughters and our dog. So it's our second morning at this campsite. We're a bit worried this morning. <laughs> we should be fine, but the reason why we're worried is- No, I don't think we will be fine. I reckon it's, we'll be fine tonight. You reckon? Yeah. Uh, so quickly, <laughs> our batteries are at 16% and we've only, so when we rocked up here, we're a hundred percent and every day it's been decreasing and decreasing and decreasing. And now this morning we were waking up, we woke up and it was at 16%. And the reason for that is, this is one of the main, well, there's multiple main reasons why we want to leave. The main, main reason is like, obviously you guys know it was like first in best dress campsite. We found this one in the Late. corner. Luckily, we got one. I don't even know how Alex seen it. I but thought there was nothing. Surrounded by trees. Yeah, so I'll take oh you outside God. to show you it properly now we during did the like day. An hour and a half worth of solar, but that like we usually generate like 1,200, 1,300 watts, and we generate like five, six hundred watts that, in an hour yeah. of the day. The sun's out now. Right, but it's covered by half of the trees and look we're only getting in 320 and obviously we're getting into the batteries 140. To survive at night we need the batteries to be about the lowest 30 percent. Yeah 30. Right which I reckon we'll get there today but this is our campsite anyways. As you can see see all the trees how it's just covering the solar all right and it's very overcast today as well. That's off-grid living eh? Insane that we want to be like off grid, off grid, sort of say like no one around, sort of thing. That's what we like. But I'll show you guys the campsite, right? And on a, on another note, look at the f holes. I had to I had to dig because it's just so like on the slant. Once again, not complaining because we found the spot and we got to stay here a night. So this campsite is fifteen dollars a night. Like can you see that? See how it's covering it all? And this bloke that's here, I don't know if you can see that Land Cruiser. He was staying in this spot and he said he wanted to move for that reason because he was getting shit solar here so that's why this was was free it's not a bad caravan park and the beach is literally like right on this other side of the bushes i think it's the whole thing too of like the seven night what do you mean like because you can only stay a maximum of seven days yeah and by the time we film i forgot to mention that by the time we get like i film a video we film we edit and work we like to do certain things before we leave a campsite seven nights is just not enough yeah by the time like you unset and you're you feel comfortable and everything's yeah. got a spot it's like you've got two days and then you're packing yeah again. so we're gonna we today's today's mission is for us to try find a camp spot that we can stay at least two to three weeks and also Guess what today's mission is? What? To go to Kmart and I'm finally gonna buy a butter knife instead of using <laughs> a teaspoon. <laughs> butter knife? I've yeah. been using a teaspoon As you guys in know. Portland. So I'm looking forward to having a Kmart I can go to and like get some little things for the girls. Yeah. It's gonna be like a $400 Kmart shop. <laughs> really? Really? Are you shirking? Huh? See, Luke's face just changed instantly. He thinks I'm no. gonna get like no. one butter knife and one bowl. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Here comes really? A are, you? are you really? I haven't been to Kmart for so long. I love a good Kmart show. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna have to get ready and get out of here. Because we might be moving today. I wanna try to get out of here today if we can. So it's nine o'clock right now. Let's see if we can find a spot. And we're gonna keep this one away from Kmart. No! So just quickly, white sinks in caravans, you can see they mark so easy and like you try and scrub it to get them off, you can't. So for anyone that does have a white sink, magic eraser. Watch this, ready? Like you literally just. Ugh. If you're getting a white sink in your caravan, make sure you stock up on magic erasers because every single time that we move the van, I remember the first time I was like, oh my God, like our sink is just scratched to the absolute house. And I like, I was scared, but then we got magic erasers and it's been a luxury since. So I thought I'd share that little 
finding with you guys? Uh, we're just about to leave and this was getting 900 watts into the batteries, man. And we've put it on charger only, so what that means is nothing from the power points or anything like that work, only the 12 volt like fridges and stuff. So we can get the most solar in as we can while we're gone. It's 18 at the moment. Let's see what it is when we get back. What'd you get? Finally got some butter knives and some teaspoons. Hey, they're steel, they're supposed to be plastic. Can't have the weight. So the first place that we're gonna try go to is 20 Ks from where we are right now. So fingers crossed it's free. And if it's free and we're confident, we're gonna go in there today. Yeah. Would you be keen to do that? I think we go today because I'm kind of a bit overthinking about where like what we're gonna do next. Yeah. Alright, we'll see you when we get there. And look what it says. Maybe that's why they don't do camping on the beach. Take extreme care. This is a high risk coast because of the tides. Okay. Check down here though, let's Check get to the here. river. We just went through, we just went through this track but we were originally going to put the caravan and... No chance. No chance getting the van in here at all, man. Like, nothing. I'm going to take you guys back through the track that we came through so you can see how bad it is. Now I had that tires up to 40 in manual too. So now I'm starting to drive low four in manual, not auto because that would have changed gears and it bogs you out. So way better in manual, way, yeah. better, way better. So not only can we just not camp there because no camping's allowed, but we wouldn't have been able to get the van in anyway. Yeah, I feel better now that I just wanted to have a look at what, but what it was like. there's heaps of like arms off to the river and it doesn't say anything about camping like so. We'll show you guys later where we... we have a look at them. We're already thinking where we know where we're going to stay, but we'll take you guys there later. Yeah. All right, we've just got back home. It is 10 past five. We've left at 10 o'clock. Obviously, we've got back home now. We're out all day looking at campsites. The last campsite that we checked, we found a spot. So, tomorrow morning, we're getting up super early. We are going to that camp spot. So I'm not going to tell you where it is yet. You guys have to just stay tuned and find out where it is. Batteries on the van. What do I have these lights on for? Get ready for it. 37. That's enough for us tonight. I'm not going to stress out. We'll get through that. <laughs> See you guys in the morning, bright and early. Make sure you wake up when the alarm goes off. I think it's because I had hay fever last night or something like that. I don't know what it was. Woke up with a lot of phlegm and a sore throat, but you don't want to hear that, do you? You just want to know if the sip, the ship's sunk to, to, today. <laughs> the batteries are on 6%. I think this is the lowest that we've ever had it. We said last night all we need is 34 to survive, and we have survived. So. No, it's just. Just. And we're getting 24 watts in the batteries, but. Lucky Most... we've got one bar of 4G on the iPad this morning, because at least the kids can watch the iPad while we pack everything up. Yep. <laughs> and today's going to be 28 degrees, so that's going to be back up to 100, and we can plug it into the car. We're going to get ready and go to our new spot. Why are you wearing jeans? 
I don't know. It's 29. Yeah, but it's still cold right now. Once it gets hot, all I gotta do is just take the pants off. Are you ready? Go put air in the airbags. Yeah. I don't know if I should start the um. Guys, the, there's the a stuffy. Or do you just say money? Look. No good, man. Sun's like there at the moment. By the time it gets up here, it's gonna be like 10 o'clock. Wait a sec, Rock. Let me undip it the whole way. Wait a sec. Wait, Rock. Wait one sec, bro. All right, all right, all right. All right, everything's semi packed up out here. The car's on there, Scarlett. Who wants a snack? <laughs> so we can take these off now. We had to dig them out too, as you guys know. There's another guy over here, he's going as well. This side was pretty good. Alright, first time Alex is gonna reverse the car and the caravan siren puffed out. This jockey wheel kills me. Alright Al, can you see? Go very slow. Keep coming this way. Straight like that. Slow, that's it. Forward a touch. That's it, too much, back. That's it. I reckon that would just... Right there. Arms up. Arms have to go. She did it. She did it. Turn it off, Al. You did it. You did it. Look at this. We could have just stayed like that the whole time. I don't know what to say to that. No, it's because when we unhooked it, it was level. When we unhooked, but obviously we didn't have it chocked, so it came forward. I don't understand, but yep. It's too, I haven't had a coffee break. Oh, actually, no, it's... it's. This morning was so hard because we were on 6%. Obviously, all our 24 volts shut down in the van. We only had the 12 volt active. So there's been no coffee this morning. No, nothing. I need a coffee. Um, <laughs> can you tell them if they can move their car? I think they're going. Yeah, for sure. Yep, yeah, back. Start a oh, bit more. Stop. One, two, forward. Little bit. Go. Go. Stop. Go a little bit more. Little bit more. Stop. Reverse a bit, Luke. All right, go forward. Out? Yeah, but I gotta put these away still, so just a little bit. Go. All right, go for it. <laughs> All right. You excited? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Hopefully, it's still there. I am nervous about this site because we did like when we found it, we did see people like trying to drive in and stuff. So there's someone that has a good four by four and can get in there. We're not going to get it. <laughs> let's mm. go. All right, let's go. Goodbye, cozy corner. Be really honest too. It's not a bad campground, but I just don't think that campgrounds are for me. I don't know why I don't enjoy them at all. Like I don't like having someone right behind me and then like two three people in front of me and someone on the side like i don't know why i just don't like it like i know that everyone can like hear everything that you do i just i don't like it do you no i just like to be on my own yeah it's just like to just do me <laughs> like are you copying me? especially the videos that i do i'm always on my own fishing and all that sort of stuff so yeah i don't know sort of it's like just it. if we can off-grid camp as much as we can that's definitely what we're going to be doing for sure i think i like the feeling of like being off-grid like, I... when i say off-grid like being like remote on your own like in an know. awesome environment I think that what I'm going to do from now on is instead of going to a campground to begin with to like explore the area, I think that what I'll do is I'll book a hip camp because um, we did the hip camp in Portland and that was amazing. So I think what, uh, moving forward, instead of spending $15 a night at places like these, I'll book a hip camp, at least, you know, someone's getting um, that income as well and then explore from there and find where we're going to go, so to say. Going to make you 
the best McDonald's breakfast ever. We got fuel in the car, we had a coffee, it was a shit coffee too. Yeah. Who hates the feeling when you spend $5 on a coffee and it tastes like hot milk or the other one tastes like hot water? Sorry to be a complainer. And on top of that, but it's our it fault for spending the five bucks. It's man. a caramel latte with one sugar too. Like you think that it's still, even if it was like a bit watery, still tastes good. Yeah, it was. Shit house. Anyways, it is what it is. That's what happens. We're going to top up the van with water, have breakfast here, and then we're going to go to the spot. We can't put water in yet because it's full of vans here. Gets really busy. All right, I'm going to get the kids out of the car, get Rocco out the car for his morning walk. Hi! And Ari got a Mimi, didn't you? Sorry. So the one thing that you guys may have realized from watching this channel is I am a bit of a tight ass. <laughs> we don't like buying takeaway food as much as we can because it just accumulates so much in like a weekly budget at the end of a week. It's just too much. But Ari has realized that there is KFC, Hungry Jack's, McDonald's here. So that's been a bit tricky to navigate. And I asked Aria this morning what she wanted for breakfast and she turned around and she said that she wanted McDonald's. She wanted bacon egg burger. So what are we doing? Yeah! Good, good, that is. And is it better than McDonald's? Yeah! yeah, She's the yeah, best yeah. Girl, man. Look where we are. We just we haven't put water in yet. We said we might as well do a load of washing. So Alex has got the washing machine on. <laughs> and then we'll pull back up and put water in the caravan and go to the spot. Thank you so much, baby. Do you know what's funny? What's that, that Luke said that he didn't want any. I was just about to say to you, I don't want that hash brown, but... Well, Scarlett will have it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're all done now. Let's get out of here. Let's go to this next stop. Now we're gonna do gas. I'm gonna do gas now. No. <laughs> gonna do gas now. You don't. Steer on her. It's a bit risky to not. We're completely off grid. Where are we going? I feel like it's a bit silly to not. Alright, we're gonna go do the gas first and then go to the stop. Jeez, it's 12 o'clock. So much for wanting to get there at fucking 8 o'clock. Alright, let's see where all these fish are. I'm gonna speak to the boys from BCF. Maybe they can help me out, boys. Because we're in Albany and I have no idea what they catch here, but I know they catch a big fish. Wait, mate. Yes, bottle. Do you do these? Yeah, it's what? What size bottle is it? Uh, they're just the um. I don't it's know, just it's a nine, nine kilo. Yeah. Nine kilo. That's a really fancy. <laughs> yeah, it's like a lightweight one. It's it's fiberglass. I got a question for you. I don't know if you can help me out. What fish do they catch around here? Like, is there like a, a certain place to go, like rock fishing for like big snapper and that, or? Oh, these are, there's, there's lots of places. There is lots of, but it's a good fishing up um, here, like off the off the banks, like off the rocks and that. Yeah, yeah, so there is. So at the moment, you, you just got to watch out for your swells, basically. So you've got to try and pick it out when the waves aren't too, aren't too. Okay. So that's the hardest thing at the moment. They get tuna as well off the beach here. Um, yeah, tuna are just coming into season. We haven't heard too many reports yet, but they, they should be here. I haven't heard a lot of reports on They were good last year. I've not heard as much this year. Do you know where to get them from? Bad news, someone's on the spot. I don't know what to do now. No, and it's quarter past one. So we've come in this entry here and there's no way out, so I've got to reverse all the way up. That's perfect, straighten her up a bit. Your left. Stop for a sec, because there's just a van here. All right, so what the plan is, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go reverse. Yeah. Get it? Drive out. Okay. You reckon? Yeah, I'll try. Now where's the inlet there? I'll tell you when to turn. I just can't see it. You're right, keep going. You're coming up to it shortly. I'd start turning her now. You okay? Oh my god. The van's fine. Yeah, I know, but I'm Yeah. You got plenty, Luke. If you just come exactly that angle, but I'm yeah, scared of the jackknifing. Maybe just reverse all the way back. I'm not all the way back. How can we reverse all the way reverse, back? Reverse in. What about if you reverse out? Drive in. And drive in and then reverse yeah. that way and go. The tree? Yeah, they scrape down their mirrors and that. Ash. Like the windows on one side. You the back, mate? Yeah, you're right. You can't turn around down there, obviously. Nah, it's too big. Do you want to back her all the way out? I'll just walk with it. I think that's what we do. I can reverse it in and come in. I don't even know if that's too tight though. Well, apparently two vans wrecked themselves on those trees yesterday trying to get out of there. So I don't know if we take the risk. If you want, I'm happy to back it up the whole way with you. Try it. Try it. 
You don't actually realize how big the van is until you're trying to get it in and out of places. There's no way you can tuck that way a bit, like do it twice. I reckon it's too narrow. All right, I'm on channel, you on channel? All right, I'm just gonna back you the whole way down, yeah? That's perfect, keep going. Oh, it's so tricky. There's no one behind you, so you got free reign, go for it. Yeah? Are you gonna reverse the van in there? Yeah, you reckon? All right. I'm scared of snakes. Yeah, that might work. Man, he's good. Aren't you leaky? Maybe you just camp here for the night. How am I behind? Oh, you got plenty. I don't really want to walk up there. Why? Snakes. It's fine. After we saw that the caravan site that we wanted was taken, we ended up finding another spot, although we didn't quite know how our caravan was going to sit here. I'm burning there in that spot because we're right in the middle of the track now and it's so unlevel. I guess first thing first, check the level. Left to right is good in this spot, but I don't think that we should stay in this spot. I'm here, left to right is like perfect, but. I reckon we gotta tuck in here. This, the van has to be like, I gotta get it here. It's very unlevel here though. Yeah, man. It's beautiful. But it's just so close to the track that comes in. Try reverse in and what are we gonna do? I think that we just try and pull it up so that it's like at least here. What do you reckon? Yeah. Alright. There is a fire that's burning still as well, which isn't controlled yet. I've just like set up on my phone an app to alert me. It's just onto like yellow bushfire advice at the moment, but yeah, you can literally see that just there burning. You're doing well. Start yeah. swinging. I'll tell you when to start swinging now. Swing, babe. This isn't good. Stop. Yeah, I think it's got to be a bit higher. Keep going. How's that? You can go back more. I stay clear. You can see how unlevel that van is. Yeah, right out. We're going to try and move the van up a fraction more. It's beautiful though. That's nice to look at. I reckon that's going to be the same with the levelness. Yeah, she's so far out. Digging? That's a good light though. We've decided to leave the van where it was and we're going to dig out these two spots here. Is that a bit yeah. easier? Oh, yuck. Digging in your jocks. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Yeah, true. Don't worry about it now, because we're probably going to have to put the levelers anyway. Two holes are dug. Let's see if this makes a difference. You can see the van's unlevel, like she's way out. Super out. Let's have a look. You're missing it. Go. No, go. It's just crunched it all in. Hold on, stay there. Go now. Better. All right, you're about to hit the first. There's your first. Go. Stop. Fits like a glove. Fits like a glove. Oh, she's close. All right, we're going to put the levels in. Let's dig it out more to the safe part. Just like yeah? Straight in. All right, go. I'll dig. Yeah, take right. this. How much did it need, Al? F4, really? Oh my god, really good digging. First one's coming. Oh. If you could only see my face as it went into those holes right then. Yeah, I'm gonna put a can in the freezer for you now. <laughs> That's good, man. <laughs> Is it hollow underneath, Luke? I think we should put some... Yeah, I'm gonna fill that up. Oh, you're right. Get the shovel, just fill that. You still working out today? Can I open up the van? Yeah, 
Yeah, Can you please set up Starlink ASAP for the kids? Jeez, look how close we are. So we've set up camp. We didn't want to be over here, but you can't complain. The only thing I don't like about it is this sort of, what is it, soil? Yeah, it's like fine dirt. Fine dirt, yeah, that's the word, yeah, and it leaves. Black. If you think that I'm looking more tanned, no, I didn't go tan. It's just a layer of dirt across all my skin. <laughs> but look at this. Hey. Sick view. I'm we wanted to be over there. There's an inlet just in there, but it's taken. What do you do? And it's sort of like, it's covered with yeah. trees, like those those sort of trees there. And you've got like a little pocket. Secluded. Yeah, anyways, once they leave, we're gonna go there straight away. I'm gonna pack up and go. But in the meantime, this is really good. Had to dig out a couple of holes. A lot of you guys say it's better if it's on an angle. Van didn't move, I took off the van. Batteries are at 68%. At 68, the batteries? Yeah, we're getting there. And there's a nice breeze at least. That fire's been upgraded too, so I am a little bit. Luke's not, but I'm a little bit concerned. I um, get scared with fires and stuff. See what happens. It's going from yellow to orange and it's saying like, watch and act. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. But it's like shit. telling people that they say live there to not go back home. It's about like probably 28 kilometers, 38 kilometers from us. Can't tell me this isn't pretty good right now. It is. I know you're burning still. I wanted my spot, but look where we are, man. <laughs> Honestly, like. This is sick. We made it. At least we made it. As soon it. as Luke hears a car going down the road, he's like... We're going to have a sneaky drink. Have a can. We deserve it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> so dinner tonight, is that lamb or...? Yeah, we're making like lamb of lucky. For $9.58, this is one of the things that I do every fortnight. Because it's two meals for her during the week. It's one good meal for us. It's a good meal for her. Look at our view from the window. Watering like right now. Oh my god, that's so good. I don't reckon it needs to be cooked anymore. Else. No, I don't think so either. So what I do with these in the barbecue, I let it cook one side really slow, like all the way down on the baby uh, the baby Weber for about I don't know 40, 40 minutes, minutes, and then I turn it off and leave it in there. I touch the top of the lid. When I can feel like it's getting cold, I turn it back on, leave it. So I turn it off and on, and have look a look at, at it. Us as Weber, like I know, yeah. Getting to know the Weber. Look at that. Not cook too much. For us, we like our meat a bit like tender and raw. Not pink, we like, like it raw, a bit but... pink, but the reason why we haven't done pink tonight is Aria. Family think, friendly. And we think that's just perfect. So, it the barbecue juicy. Weber on, off, let it sit in there, let it slow rest. cook in there, you let it rest and get that normal heat. Then turn it back on when you feel like it's getting cold. Look at the meat. Nice and juicy. Tender, not chewy. Yeah. Just melts in your mouth. Perfect. 
Aria. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Show me, baby. She started to call me baby now. She's like, show me, babe. Show me, baby. You tired? She's hungry. She's and I had that pee, and I just want more. Like, stop it. One more. One more. And that's it. It's so tender. Look at the juices on my fingers now. And then there is someone outside that wants the bone. This is for our murgi, but I gotta. Don't! Let him have it. Even Scarlett's telling you. One thing with me, I'm a bone person. I love to oh suck my the God, bone dry. But tonight. Aria, can you give Scarlett her dummy? This is for my murgi. I'm gonna roll mine. I don't know if you can you see me. It for you? This is a bit too packed. Like, look at that. Mm. I, I, I made that. <laughs> I made that for you. Mm -hmm. So good with the jalapenos. So we've woken up this morning and we're going to go down to the beach. And I need you to check out the view in the morning, man. Look at this. Sun is out. It's hot, steamy. And we're off to the beach for an hour. Let the kids run. And then we'll come back and do some work. Beautiful, isn't it? So I'm just going to show you guys what camp spot we originally wanted to get. And as soon as these guys leave, Luke is hanging to get we're this campsite. We're definitely going there, but I don't know. I think we're, we're going to have to reverse all the way down this track and put the van up. See these ruts? I think the van would be fine with that. You reckon? I reckon we just reverse it straight. What are we asking for? Oh, no. So the beach that we're going to head towards is called Betty's Beach. There is a free camp down there too. I'll show you that when we get there. But this beach is stunning. And the drive in with like the boulder, boulders, 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 yeah. Bold, a boulder. boulders <laughs> are just like, it's incredible. Mate, did you guys see those views? How nice is it? I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Look at that. Like it's just... To die for. It doesn't look real. No. Does it? Wish we could stay here. I know. Well, we can. There's people leaving this morning, this campground. Yeah, but you got to move. So apparently with this campground here, you have to move on the 17th because apparently tr um, professional fishermen come. Apparently they drag their nets for the salmon. It's that time of the season. Oh and they do it in here. So if we come here, we're going to leave in like six days. Hey! Don't know if that's going to work out. You want to stay here as long as you can, really. This is amazing, man. How is it, Al? Is it? Ah, is the water cold? <laughs> Do you like it? I might jump in. Hey, Scarlett! My little water baby, look. My little water baby. I got my beach babe that likes to stay on the beach. And then I got my... <laughs> my water baby. Not too wet, Luke. Look at her face. What do you think about this beach? Do you like it? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> and then we've got our beach doggy. <laughs> Go on, Rock. He's going to get scared of the wave. He hates Watch the waves. Yeah, Watch it, Boogie. <laughs> get all that dirt off your I wish that we were a bit closer. Woo. We only eight k's away. 
No, but like walking. Let's do it. We could find something. Uh, I've the just hunt. spent the last hey. 48 hours finding something. Hey, the hunt to find a free campsite is still on the hunt. Oh, uh, <laughs> Luke hates the dirt. He is hating like the dusty dirt. You notice anything different this morning? You guys sitting at home? I had a shave. So that he could jump in the ocean and wash it off? Yeah. You ate sand. Did you eat sand? Yeah. Man, there's a snake on the road here. What is that? down and we see like thick thick smoke that fire from last night is still burning so we're here at the moment and this is the fire there how many k's away is it 31 yeah, kilometers from our camp you can smell the smoke too it's super thick the skies are all blue and then you get to this section and it's like completely yeah it looks a bit scary All right, guys, so that couple that we we're talking about this morning have left our campsite and we're going to have a quick look right now. So this is it here. What do you reckon? Is the van going to fit? If we put the arse in just here. Look at that, man. This is sick. No, that's bark. <laughs> I yeah, thought it was rubbish, rubbish as well. Rubbish, but it's like the bark from the trees. What do you reckon? Or just stay? Is this dirt, like, is this dirt the same dirt? No, not there. Like, where we're going to walk out of the van. It's, I reckon it's better than that. Because we're about to cop like 40, 50 kilometer winds. No, it's better. Oh my God, it's so much better. Your hand would have been black. Look, so go like this. Let's move it now. Do you want it? And Yoko will fit if we put it, we should. Can we do it after dinner or no? What time? Like just kids dinner? Yeah, if you want. Someone doesn't take it, hopefully. If someone takes it now, they're not going to go till Sunday. Will we fit? Where would you stop the van though? There. You have to stop it. Yeah. It'd be alright, wouldn't it? All right, we're going to make a decision, and we'll let you guys know what we're doing. Do you reckon? 100%. Someone's, someone's filled this in to make a camp spot. 100%. Now you go like this. All right. We got it all right, ready, black. Look. Yeah, Bang! Look at that. Babe, we're ready. Just got up to date with washing. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to hook. I'll get ready while you give him dinner. Yeah, I'm not going to take, oh, we're doing I it. probably have to take down the whole van, don't I? Because of that. Alright, we're not going to that spot. We just realised that if we, we reverse the van in, the door will be on the bush side. Like right up against the scrub. And in saying that, there's other people there already. Like, look. So, it's a good spot. It gets wrapped up really quick. But, we've got to be happy with where we are. So we had something happen this morning. And that was after having this hard distinguished chat about whether we should move sites or not. All of a sudden we had the city of Albany come this morning and they said to us that we've got to move. And we're in this camp spot, as you know where we are. Mm -hmm. We thought we could camp up here. There's no sign saying no camping. And they admitted that too. They were like, you know, we know there's no camping signs. Someone had taken them down, How apparently. How did someone take the sign down? They cut it. They must cut they it. They must like cut it. But she, she was like, she was a lovely lady. So she explained to us like, you're not allowed to camp here. And we know it doesn't say you can't camp here. Obviously we're next to a free campground as well. You don't have to leave right now, leave by tomorrow morning. We've booked a caravan park by tomorrow morning. So we're going to a caravan park tomorrow. Mate, but then we were tonight, scattering all day, all day. Like I took up the whole day figuring out like, what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Then tonight, giving the kids dinner, <laughs> we have this couple rock up. And they're like, oh, can we park our car in front of yours? And we were like, of but course. But they're in like, like a, I don't, I, I it's reckon like they're a from like rental. France or somewhere. Overseas, from, yeah. yeah and so we're is. like, yeah, of course. Like, but just so you know, we got pulled up by the ranger this morning. You're not allowed to camp here. If you're going to, it's at your own risk. But at the same token, just make sure you don't block off like the road. Because there's many cars 
many vans, many everything that come through this track. So, you know, you're not allowed to camp here. You do what you want to do. You gotta understand, people will see our van here. So you're desperate to look for a campsite. It's you, crazy you look, in Albany. You see Albany. a caravan, you're like, oh, let's go check in there. You don't understand how des people, like how desperate it is to find somewhere to stay. But can you just have a look right now where they've set up their table? Here's the track. At least they can move their kitchen <laughs> over. <laughs> but I suppose you can move a car over it. You, at night, you can't like... Come on. If you, yeah. Hanging to get to this caravan park tomorrow. I'm just so done with looking for a campsite and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I didn't realize how like desperate people are, even us, to we find were. a camp spot. Yeah, like, it's, it's so out Albany? here. It's like do or die, yeah. So it is February right now. Albany <laughs> is mental. I even spoke to the caravan bloke today, and he's like, "Mate, I've owned this for like since 2016, and the first six seasons, nothing. I wouldn't even write down someone's name." Last season, nothing. Like, I had no bookings. It's like, this season, everyone keeps asking me, what's going on in Albany? Oh. Good morning. Hey. Windows oh. are behind on a sec. off. Did he? Yeah. As I moved the windows. Yeah. What a morning this morning is. Alex had a shower. We did a load of washing. The reason why we did a load of washing, because we're going to put water in anyway. So, while we can, we do a load. We also like to drop as much weight before we travel too. So like use yeah. all the water and- Less fuel. Like 180 litres, that's <sighs> close to 180 kilos. So drop it, why not use yeah. it? And at least I get to wash my hair <laughs> and wear clean clothes. <laughs> Did all the dishes. On your babes. Now I'm gonna go outside and start preparing that. Um, that's it, everything done I'll be done out now. there with you in about 10. That's all right. So we're gonna remove this chalk here. And then, if you remember when we got here on the opposite side of the van, we did dig two holes for the tyres. So I'm just going to guide Luke out of that now, so then we can re-dig those holes. Got her in low four. Yeah. Happy when? When? Oh, <laughs> go baby. That was easy as. I don't know why. I always think because she's so big that it's like going to struggle a bit. I don't know. Gotta get used to this stuff, I guess. But basically what we're gonna do now is like dig in these holes, have it all how obviously it was when we got here and get out of here. You ready to start digging again? Yeah, let's cover the holes. Is that Scarlet? I don't know. It's so hard, I don't know whether it's Scarlet or whether it's like the things that they watch. Man, that was a pretty tight squeeze. Let's have a look at the track. Yeah, really tight. Look at that. Had to take that a little bit wide, wider than I thought. See you later. Goodbye, River. Say bye, River. Goodbye, River. <laughs> oh no, I didn't put the dust system on. I know this sounds really horrible too. I think Albany is a really beautiful place. As soon as we drove in, we fell in love with it. But I'm hanging to leave Albany are you? We need to get out of Albany and keep pushing north to Perth, man. And the reason that I say that is I feel like since we've been here, it's been nothing but mayhem. It's super busy, like we were telling you guys yesterday. So campgrounds, caravan parks, free camps. It's just like everything you try and do here with Internet. a van. Internet. It's taken a day and a half for our youtube to get to 50 percent like everything's kind of been a bit against us but that's because it's so busy here not because it's a crappy town the town's beautiful but it's just too busy we've got to get out of albany and keep pushing north yeah can't wait uh, push up to perth 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 first stop uh, um servo what? Get a red bull <laughs> tells me he's off the red bulls and then he wants to get a red bull Heard you want to leave this place where we grew up. This old town, just put it all behind. Remember you and I. We're pulling over. I gotta put the dust system on, it's freaking me out. <laughs> gotta be so careful of snakes, too, here. Whoa, like, look at that dust. Straight away. I knew Scarlet was gonna crack it instantly. Come on, do the mama run. Oh! He looks like, quick, quick, quick. Okay, 
let's go. Oh, she's freaking out. Okay. Drive, 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 drive. Oh, as soon as you stop the car, man. All right, we've made it back here once again. You know the drill, water, dump point, and then we're going to this new caravan park. I'm even gonna give Rocco a rinse down here. Cause he's just black. Look at him. Black ears from all the dirt and stuff, aren't you, Rock? King River. Palms. Palms Caravan Park. Ah, right. dump stumped. I actually dumped the wastewater for the first time in the caravan. That's good, huh? Uh, not the wastewater, the actual dump point. Oh, the dump point, yeah. Luke, like, what did I say, empty, wastewater? Yeah, we did the cassette for the first time. Takes a special person to dump the dump, yeah? 12 Ks to the caravan park. Are you trying to compliment me or compliment yourself by saying that? Compliment me. Oh. No, you. Both of us, that's what I'm trying to say, you know? <laughs> These signs are the death of me in Albany, man. Sorry. We are over them signs. Oh, I'm overseeing that sign. I've had enough. Had enough. But, how many Ks? 12. Look at how beautiful it is. office is just here it says big rig stay right so maybe you just stay here because you're a big rig is that the office there <laughs> now i was gonna say we classified as a big rig we're a big rig luke's like in serious mode now gotta get the van in and work it all out I i'm gonna go and find out where we're staying okay do you think we're a big rig i reckon we're a big rig hey doesn't it feel nice to see palm trees again Hot today, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, let's go in the office. All right, no answer. So I'm just gonna give them a call. How you going? Oh, sorry. More hometown, see? Yeah. Right, we are here. Yeah. This stretch of coast is insane. Mm -hmm. Pop in and see Misery Beach. Voted Australia's number one beach in 2022. Oh, really? Not my kind of beach, but who votes for it? I don't know. <laughs> Albany's best beach, in our opinion, by far, is Little Beach. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go for a walk to the site. So what's your name? We're gonna have to work with Dwayne. This is Dwayne and he works at the caravan park. Beautiful, it's hot day, isn't it? It is too hot for Albany. But I do have a spot over there, but that's sort of full sun. Okay. It's the spot I'm thinking about. So this is the one I'm thinking about. Basically where his boat is. Ah, oh, yeah. Pull your van in sideways. Yep. And that's the Willy Young Creek right there. Oh, beautiful, look at that. So, and then they camp kitchen, toilet shower, playground. Nice, okay, cool. So this is, this would be, and the sun's heading obviously west is that look way. Look at that. So this will be shade pretty quick. Actually, you probably see all the fish from here too. Look at, no, them, look at them all, yeah, there is too. Hey, when they're, obviously it's not marin season anymore, no. but do they get marin in here? Oh, not too many down here. Look they? at them all, the fish. What fish are they? They're all black brim. Do you reckon it'd be a nice big black brim in there? There is some right next to here. You can fish off there next to that pine tree. Oh, yeah. And um, mm. biggest one I think they pulled in there was about 380. Jesus. Yeah. But they get mull away as well. In here? Oh yeah. I've often got photos of them up to probably 900 long. A meter really? Long. How deep does that go? Uh, here is not real deep, but there, it, it meets runs. the King River down below. Uh, okay. And But they come up the creek. Shit, I should try for mull away. Yeah. Go out the, out the mouth. Right, so this is our site here. Look how beautiful this is. It's going to be gorgeous. Now comes the fun job getting the van in. We do have water and electricity here too. So this caravan park is $45 a night, which compared to like other ones in town is amazing. Like we got quoted upwards of 92, $96 for an unpowered site yesterday. So electricity, power, don't get better than that. All right, I gotta focus. Check this out right now. Not bad, if you ask me. Good. Hey. There's fish in here. He reckons there's mull away in this creek. I know I shouldn't be talking about fishing, but um, oh, you've heard it anyway. It ties out, isn't it? I don't you know okay? if this runs to the ocean. It will. Yeah, because you said mull away comes in. <gasps> Look at the duck, Ari. It's 36 at the moment, man. It's crazy hot. I've taken the car off now. Put it next to the um, obviously the caravan. I've leveled the van out. All right, we have leveled it out. It's pretty good. Left to right, back and forth. That arms up. We'll get our mat here. It's gonna be actually cool. It's hot. It is hot, man. All right, keep pushing through. 